You won't hear this in the mainstream media, but the Russian defense minister just held a press conference that has huge grave implications for NATO, Turkey, and Russia when it comes to the fight against ISIS. You could watch this video in the description below. Of course, we're going to have all the sources directly in the description so you could click and watch. But if you don't want to watch the 30 minute press conference, we will quickly break down the revelations that the Russians have just brought forward to the world when it comes to the global fight against ISIS. The Russian defense minister said that airstrikes by Russia in Syria have helped stop the illegal oil turnover by ISIS. He also said that the Turkish president and family are involved in business with the Islamic State ISIS oil. He said he will continue strikes in Syria on the oil infrastructure. He also said that there are three major routes by which the ISIS Islamic State is using to direct its illegal oil trade inside of Turkey. And he said he's going to provide more information next week. In the press conference, he showed a detailed map of ISIS's illegal oil trade that Turkey has been consuming. He showed satellite images of the illegal oil trade, of the refineries, of the movement of this illegal oil trade, and the depots where this oil is actually held. He showed and demonstrated how the oil is directly moving from ISIS-controlled territories inside of Turkey, and even pinpointed the president of Turkey and his family as the chief beneficiaries of this illegal oil trade, which makes many people on social media say, wait, I thought the United States for over 13 months couldn't even find these illegal oil trades. Meanwhile, Russia just provided all this important information and intelligence, and this is only the beginning of what they're beginning to show everyone. This has huge implications because as we know the Turkish president said he will resign if this illegal oil trade is documented in any way shape or form. Now Vladimir Putin recently at the G20 meetings came out and said Turkey, this was before his jet fighter was shot down by the Turkish government, said that Turkey and US allies and G20 over 40 countries, including countries in the G20, are directly financing the support of ISIS by buying their illegal oil. The United States quickly, after Putin's announcement at the G20, responded by first dropping flyers on ISIS territory, warning them that they will begin bombing them. And then finally, after 13 months, the United States did actually bomb the oil trucks that have been financing ISIS. There is a lot of important questions that many people have not been asking, but many people speculate because of this illegal oil ISIS trade black market, which they have been selling oil at $40 a barrel, people are speculating that ISIS is making over 40 to $97 million a month. That is way more than any criminal organization needs to finance their illegal operation and to hire mercenaries. This is why ISIS is as powerful as they are because they are receiving 40, some experts say, to 97 million dollars a month directly supported by US backed allies and NATO countries who are financing their harm. And ISIS, again, if, if you look at how horrible this criminal organization is and the devastation they lay on the Middle East you understand how huge this implication is and if you cut off their money they won't be able to hire mercenaries they won't be able to be finance their illegal operation and they could be fully stopped it looks like Russia is doing everything in its power to make sure right now Turkey and NATO will cut off their alliance to ISIS even Donald Trump on the national stage, on the radio show, it said on Sirius XM's Breitbart News Daily Show, he said Turkey looks like they're on the side of ISIS. And it's all based on oil. And this, again, is a huge turning point with the fight against ISIS. As we know, the United States, as we reported to you this yesterday, said that they are sending more forces on the ground inside of Iraq and Syria to supposedly combat ISIS. As we told you yesterday, the numbers of special forces are insignificant and will not make a dent against ISIS. Well, the Iraqi government, the prime minister, 
just came out and said, Iraq does not need foreign ground combat forces on Iraq land. He says, the United States, you are not welcome here. As we know, we reported to you last month, the Joint Chiefs of Staffs went to Iraq, talked with the high levels of the Iraqi government, the Prime Minister, there. And he said, you better not work with Russia. If you work with Russia, you will be our enemy. Iraq said, sure, we'll be with you, and then invited Russia to help collaborate with them. As the United States, as Ash Carter, the Defense Secretary, just said a few minutes ago, he said, there's a huge problem because the Iraqis think that the U.S. is in cahoots with ISIS and it's hurting the war. Yes, why do people on the ground, including not only just average civilians, but the government in Iraq, think that the United States is in cahoots? with ISIS. Well, if we're looking at other reports that Zero Hedge has verified, we're seeing commanders who are fighting ISIS on the ground for the Iraqi government saying, quote, we expect more from the Americans. There's no real airstrikes against ISIS headquarters. Many people inside of Iraq who are fighting them, like the Shiite commander, said this on record. It is in no doubt ISIS is almost finished. They are weak. If only America would stop supporting them, we could defeat them. And there's videos and photos that have not been verified, but they're showing Iraqi commanders on the ground after they defeated ISIS, showing American parachutes and equipment that they have been catching ISIS fighting with. And the ISIS, com and, and the ISIS commanders who are retreating and the Iraqi military who's coming in are making this video saying, look, these are all American supplies that these ISIS fighters have. We're seeing the parachutes from the American aircraft come in and resupply ISIS as they're about to be finished, as they're weak, and we could defeat them if only it wasn't for the Americans. This is huge. I mean, I don't understand why this is not mainstream news. Ash Carter is even saying we have this huge problem. We can't even work with Iraq, who backstabbed us, who said they wouldn't work with Russia, who are working with Russia directly right now. And as we're seeing, Russia is using this situation to their full advantage, showing the world directly how U.S. allies, a part of NATO, are directly financing this illegal operation. How the Americans for over 13 months never destroyed their oil tankers, but then warned them that they would be doing it before they did it, before they were pressured on the world stage to admit that they were actually doing this. And many people were even pointing to the fact, look, Barack Obama, our President of the United States, received $1.3 million in gifts from Saudi Arabia, one of the chief beneficiaries of not only American weapons, but also support of ISIS. And as the Free Thought Project put it eloquently, Obama accepted $1.3 million in gifts last year from a country who beheads more people than ISIS. And as we know, Saudi Arabia has been pushing for the support of ISIS, sending in also a lot of heavy weapons that the Iraqis have been catching along with the Iranians that are fighting alongside of them to defeat ISIS. This is huge news. And no one in the mainstream media is talking about it. You're only able to get this real verified news with sources that you could verify in the description below because you should only believe yourself. You should only fact check yourself. I can only do so much. Everyone makes mistakes. But damn it, this is huge. And the Russians next week are going to come out with even more information directly showing how our own people are financing our very own worst fear. Get this information out there to everyone because everyone needs to know this. I want to thank everyone from the bottom of my heart for supporting us on Patreon, for donating to us on wearechange.org forward slash donate, making this independent media possible. We only have you, and because of you, we're able to continue this operation, and I can't thank you from the bottom of my heart for giving me this opportunity to speak to you. Share this video with your friends. Of course, subscribe. We're going to have a lot more content coming your way on youtube.com forward slash wearechange.